I'm here at the Varna Archaeological Museum in the Black Sea city of Varna, Bulgaria. When I first started learning an alternative view of history, something other than what I'd been taught in school, I learned about uh, the archaeologist Maria Gambutas, who was a Lithuanian-born um, mytho-ethno-archaeologist. And she told about the goddess culture of Neolithic times when the divine feminine was what reigned supreme and there was more of partnership values in the society. Well, since then, uh, they found fortresses and weapons in the Neolithic time and so some people feel like they've debunked her theories. However, what uh, James and I observed when we were in Crete and uh, what I observe in museums like this one, the Varna Archaeological Museum, about Neolithic times is that there was a valuing of feminine values or uh, we could call them nurturing, caretaking, earth uh, caring values. And uh, the the excavations that were done here in Varna, in fact, shot a hole in Maria Gimbutas' uh, theory because it showed uh, sociological stratification, the leader uh, where the grave had the most gold was like a bigger man than anyone else, kind of wonder about his genetics. But anyway, so the right brain values, what could be so-called feminine values value beauty and a lot of the artifacts are jewelry or bowls or um, ornaments that are very beautiful and as it turns out they also encoded science and mathematical truths so for me this is a partnership culture it, I mean it could be because they hadn't uh, come upon the intricacies of writing which would have meant that they really were using their left brains a lot more but out of the right brain, they were putting the astronomy and geometry and mathematics into objects of beauty. Beauty, awe, uh, brings this feeling. Uh, it's the same thing that happens with science. So it's the union of beauty and science, art and science, beauty and truth, which are partnership values. And that's a lesson I think we can take away.